Hi everyone, this is Arcadius and welcome back to Naval Creed. Today we'll be going over the next French destroyer in the tech tree line, that is the Tier 8 Le Terrible. Uh, now you may notice she is quite similar to the French destroyer we already have in the game at Tier 8, Le Fantasque, but there are some very noticeable differences. Uh, Le Fantasque is more of a general destroyer, I guess you could say. Uh, she's fast, she has guns, she has pretty good or okay-ish anti-aircraft defense, and her torpedoes launch all three torpedoes at the same time, and they do not do that much damage. She also has a smoke screen, so she's like your stereotypical go-to destroyer. Le Terrible is, follows what the tech tree French destroyers have, so she has the heal, she has the speed boosts, she has the single shot super torpedoes, and she has a lot of really good guns, but no anti-aircraft defense pretty much. So you kind of have to pick and choose what you want. Um, in all honesty, when the French Destroyer line came out, it kind of made Le Fantasque pretty much worthless. Um, I'm not saying she's a bad ship because I've had a lot of fun games with her, but she doesn't have a lot of torpedo power at all. She's just a straight gunboat, a fast gunboat. But the French Destroyer line actually makes those torpedoes worthwhile to have. Um, and honestly, they're your main armament, believe it or not. So let's just go through what we have for La Terrible. 17,100 health, up to 21 millimeters of armor. Again, you're just really not going to do much with that. But there it is. Nine rounds a minute for 139 millimeter guns. Same kind of five guns, but they are better placed than Eigel or Vaquilin. We have two here. And we have three around here, kind of like the German Destroyer or a Fletcher. And then torpedoes. Well, actually, let's finish guns here first. Uh, let's see what damages. I think we even have increased damages for HE and AP. Faster shell velocity, if I'm correct, as well. Yeah, we go from 700 meters per second to 840 and 800, respectively. So a lot faster shells. Gun range, 13.8 kilometers, so we can shoot farther. Torpedoes, we do have three triple launchers, two on the wings and one center line. So if you liked the way that Quaylen played, you get stronger guns and more torpedoes for the broadside launchers. Torpedoes, 7.5 kilometers, 22,600 damage per torpedo. 70 knot speed, 0.38 rounds per minute. So we actually drop in terms of reload again. Um, but yeah, just insane. Anti-aircraft is going to be garbage. Yep, still garbage. And then 6.8 kilometer detection. So we have another 100 meters of detection. Uh, the ship actually does have a sister ship. It's a rank 0.1 and it's kind of garbage actually. I mean, who wants cheesecake guns and baguette torpedoes? But you know what? I appreciate their um, artistic ability. And as much as I may not agree with the way the camo looks, it's actually not hard to look at. That makes sense. It, it flows very nicely for a French destroyer. So if you like this destroyer, there is a rank point camo out there for her. But all in all, I am not a fan of it. So, let's see what we can do with Le Terrible. Okay, let's see what kind of game we have for Le Terrible. Now, Tier 8 is actually going to be the tier where you start facing some pretty strong opponents. Um, and I don't see any of those here, so we lucked out. Uh, so we have an Implacable, another British carrier, yay. A Richelieu, which is the only battleship, surprisingly. Uh, Kitakami, Wichita... And then three destroyers, Laffy, Le Terrible, and Le Fantasque. So we have both French destroyers at tier 8 here. My concern is that we would run into, like, a Bismarck, Tirpitz group, or Veneto even. We should probably turn the engine on. There we go. Um, those secondaries, yes, you can heal, but you can't heal that well. <laughs> so, yeah. North Carolina secondaries, too. They can mess you up. There's a lot of them, even if they're not nearly as dangerous as Bismarck's. So, yeah, Tier 8 is where 
I previously thought the French Destroyer line started going downhill, and I kind of still think that for Tier 9. We'll get to there in the next video. Um, but overall, it's not nearly as bad as you might think. The Torpedo Reload is still garbage. Still have a minute and a half, and it's already been 45 seconds of the game. So that's 2 minutes and 15 seconds to reload a single Torpedo. Which is a lot um, in terms of gameplay, by the way. The guns are good, but you don't get any real changes from Tier 6. So it starts catching up with you here. And then torpedoes, they do increase in damage, but your range is only 7.5, where other ships or destroyer torpedoes are going out a lot farther. So you actually have to start using a skill and actually thinking when you're using this ship versus just rushing in and taking them on one by one. So I am kind of still doing that right now, but that's just to get rid of this destroyer, which we've already done over 7,000 damage to. And then I will back off a little bit. I'll clear the destroyer and alpha. And then we'll move on from there. Cool. Um, I'd like to send some torpedoes towards this Wichita, but she's not even close to being in range. Well, she's in range, but I still have 30 seconds on my torpedoes. But over 4,000 damage and a fire, I will take that. All right, we finished that. Let's take on the Le Fantasque and slow down a little bit so we can actually turn without taking the entire map. Speed up to three quarters. And you can just quickly see how fast destroyers No, That's 4,400 damage. There's another 45. And then just like that, the ship is gone. So, I don't want that fire. You can just... The ship just bullies destroyers. And I keep saying that over and over again, but you can clearly see how accurate that is. It looks like our gun rotation is a little bit faster as well, which is always appreciated. Like, I mean, large guns are fun, but they take a long time to turn around and reload sometimes. So you kind of get a little bit better with that. And we have the Rich Lou right here. Yeah, let's turn our guns. Get our torpedoes ready. Let's pop a heal because French secondaries, or at least the six inches, will hurt. I'm going to say four torpedoes. And I'll keep the other two on the side. Actually, no. Yeah, there we go. Four torpedoes. You actually soaked it up. That's upsetting. And then let's give some good news to Wichita. Okay, send her some shells too. And then, yeah, we just gotta. I'd like to take down the Richelieu. All right, so let's see. Um, pause here. Okay, so the phone call's there. Done. Cool. Um, the Richelieu went down. I did not kill it, but I did slow down for these torpedoes. They are gone. But we can't dodge the dive bombers. But there is another destroyer to bully. So let's go ahead and start doing that. And then we'll just chase down this carrier here. No issue there. Missed that last shot. She sped up a bit. Didn't dodge that, but I only got seven, 1776 damage. I hear American flags. All right. Um, all right, let's go party with this implacable. I'd like to stop burning now. See, can we get a fire on you? Because as soon as I get a fire, I'm going to switch over to armor piercing and try. There we go. I get two fires. Popping another heal, by the way. Nope, no two fires, but still 4,000 damage. Let's see if armor piercing is going to be any better on this ship. 47. Torpedoes. Torpedoes avoided. Let's go back to high explosive because she's going to put that fire out here pretty soon. There 
There we go, another fire. Cool. Back to armor piercing. Actually, can we... Let's do something here. Just gonna send out a couple torpedoes, you know. Just as a, a friendly little hello. Um, can we... No. We lost our chance to do that. Oh well. Let's pop another heal, because why not? Oh, she's turning, so she's probably actually going to dodge those torpedoes. Hey, we shot down a plane, finally. We've only been attacking a carrier for five minutes. Wow, that was bad aim on my part. And there we go. Oh, we didn't even get the kill. Okay, that was rude. Um, but yeah, carry you down, game down. Let's see how we did. I feel like we didn't do much that game. 177,000 damage. There we go. Three ships sunk, 144 shell hits, five torpedo hits, one aircraft shot down, seven fires, two floodings, one defended cap, over 6,000 base XP. 67,000 damage in HE, 13,000 in armor piercing, 24,000 damage in fires, and 70,000 in torpedoes. There just wasn't a lot of targets. There's one battleship. We wiped it out pretty quickly. It did soak up that last torpedo, though, um, because, you know, saturation, which unfortunately meant it survived. But four torpedoes would have been enough to sink that. Uh, we bullied some destroyers. The Wichita suffered some torpedoes as well. And then, you know, carrier stuff. Oh, that is pretty much La Terrible. You can see how it's slowly getting harder and harder to use the same tricks. Because um, overall, we haven't changed that much at all since Tier 6. And putting that against Tier 8, you're going to start running into some issues. And issues you will run into, especially Bismarck's with their Hydro and everything like that. Definitely going to be an issue for you. Um, but with that, that will wrap up today's video. If you liked the video, make sure you like and subscribe for further content. And join me next time while we go over the Tier 9 destroyer, the Hardy. Uh, it's actually Lafayette. Yeah, it's technically Lafayette. I've renamed it Lahardy. Um, Not a big fan of this destroyer, but we will still show it nonetheless. So again, thank you for watching and take care.